What are the good reasons to get married? Why is friendship important in marriage? How to be your spouse's best friend? What friendship will do for your marriage? In the conclusion, start it off. What is marriage? Uh, does anyone know what marriage is? Come on, don't be shy, raise your hand. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's a union of a male and a female uh, which is uh, uh, <laughs> 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 What is it? Mm. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I can understand the guy. I just can't speak it. Can't say it. But anyway, what is marriage? Usually, marriage is defined as well, the union of uh, a man and a woman. Pero, my definition of marriage is Marriage is a sacred bond that God has blessed onto us that allows us to be with the one we love the most until death do us part. Mm, the marriage vow until death do us part, I feel like has the most impact to like on the wedding. I say it really is until death do us part. That's a timeless vow that just shows that you two will be together until the end of time, until the end of the world, until all of you go to heaven. Marriage is not only a bond, but a commitment. Once you said your first I do, it has to be your last I do. Once that ring slipped onto the finger, it's as if you have made an unbreakable bond with the one you chose. A bond greater than a promise, a bond that will last until the end of time. So, marriage isn't just some fancy thing you need to show off to your friends. Oi, oi, meron ako masawa, tingin mo. It's not like my dad just went up to his friends, oi, meron ako masawa, si Lourdes. So, hindi ganyan. Okay? You marry someone because you love them. You love them. That's why. That's why it's more than just a show off. It's a bond. It's a commitment. Okay? It's a promise you make to each other. The term marriage vow is not just fancy words you say at the way. It's not like, oh, I do, A marriage vow is a timeless honor we have to keep. We have to make sure that when you say I do, it's I do, I do. Okay? I am all, I don't. Simple. <laughs> what I do three years later divorce. What can you If I am the I don't. I don't. <laughs> If you really think about it, marriage is the strongest bond that humans can make. But it's not only a promise to each other, but it's also a promise to God. Think about it. Oh, who, has a, who here has a friendship that's stronger than a marriage? Oh, wala, di ba? Oh, who here has a... Uh, okay. uh, so, talagang, marriage is really a sacred bond, talaga. Like, I can be friends with my siblings, but I can't marry them, di ba? Oh, yeah. So, marriage, talaga, is a sacred bond. What are those good reasons to get married? Can anyone give me a good reason to get married? Wala? Because I love him. Oh, because, oh, because you love him, probably. <laughs> okay, uh, so, yeah. To have a partner for the rest of your life. Sure, we don't want to live lonely. Sad naman. Pero, uh, ever since birth, we have done everything through our own efforts. But as life progresses, it becomes difficult to carry the tasks alone. So we choose our special someone. Someone who we know will fight with us until the very end. Uh, I'm still young, so I'm not looking for a partner yet, unless I'm very a crush. I'm no joking. <laughs> so, uh, I am, I'm still young, so of course, well, I don't have too many things to worry about. I just have school, my family, my friends. So I'm not really looking for a partner now. Pero, as you go older, you start to realize, ay, you have a big See, you start to realize that you have, you have, you have jobs, you have, you have to take care of your family, uh, your current family, not the one where you have kids now. Pero to take care of your parents now, because it's hard to get older. So yeah, it starts to get harder to care of everything. So you long for that someone to, to be your other half, to be the support that you can't be for yourself. To be with the one you love. Uh, thank you for this. Uh, of course, you marry to be with the one you love. I mean, who you marry because they just feel like it. Oh, you marry because you love someone. As humans, we long for company and love. We spend our days searching for that special someone who can fill the hole in our heart. Luckily for us, God has an amazing plan for us. It's only a matter of time until God's plan takes action. If you're married or not married yet, divorced, single, whatever, God has a special plan for you. So don't worry about it. Just because your friend, oh, I'm married na siya, pero I'm not. Oh, what happened, God? God has a special plan for you, man. Don't worry. Okay? Just continue on with life, continue on with what God wants you to do. To spend the rest of your days with your best friend. This is where the friendship comes into place. 
Why would you marry someone? We are not even friends. We, I, would, I, would, I myself wouldn't want to marry a stranger. I'm not just going to go on the street. Oh, you marry a guy. I don't go. Find me. Of course, I want to become friends with this person. I want to know them better. Even though we are married, we do have other people that we consider our best friends. Right? My dad is married there and does have our best friends in college. But once you have chosen, the one you've chosen is your true best friend. Even though my dad is the best friend in college, my mom is still his best friend, the true best friend. Your spouse is like a friend that will never leave, and you'll never grow tired of them. This is sometimes friends can drift away. Friends can eventually, or they can move away, or and you just stop talking. Uh, there, once you're married, it's forever. My mom and dad, they've been friends for 20 years. I didn't even exist yet. Okay? That's a good idea. I shouldn't exist while they're, while, while they're not married, okay? okay. Uh, they will provide emotional support for you and be there for you in times of darkness, which is why your spouse is truly your best friend. Why is friendship important in men? Huh? So does anyone know why friendship is important? Okay. Friendship is the most important thing in marriage because it is the most basic relationship that humans have developed since the dawn of time. Ever since Adam and Eve, they have, of course, no one, they didn't just, oh, boom, marry. But of course, they have to learn to be with each other. They have to learn to respect each other. They have to learn to love each other more now. Before they, they, they became married, you all know the rest. Marriage is the ultimate goal, and it's like the final stage in a relationship. Uh, a relationship can enter, but we can't reach this stage until we start with friendship. Imagine there's layers to it. You can't skip to the final layer if you don't even start with the first one, right? You can't get to high school if you don't even start kindergarten, right? That's what marriage is. You can't have marriage until you start with friendship. It is important that we are friends with our spouse because it is almost impossible to love someone who we don't appreciate. And friendship is the most important, is the first step to loving someone. But of course, you know, I'm young, so I'm friends, no matter what. So, actually, yesterday, I just went to with my friends. Uh, uh, there was this one friend who I haven't seen in three years, Pero, because I really appreciate them and love them. I took the time out of my day to be there for them because I care about them. And that's the first step to like friendship. I, I didn't just automatically love them. I had to become friends before. I, I love some, you know? Even my siblings. I don't just... I, I know that sometimes, usually, you have to love your siblings unconditionally. Pero, I love them more now that I'm friends with them. You know? How to be your spouse's best friend? First of all, be open. Be honest. Don't be afraid to Don't be afraid to tell them how you truly feel. Developing trust is an essential aspect of any relationship because it is the basic foundation that binds us together. From I can't be friends with someone if I don't trust them. It's so obvious. I'm not going to be friends with someone. Pero they're going to be like, oh, you trust me? I'm just friends with you, lah. Just because I'm in pain, lah. Ni ganyan, ni kwaadig. Make time for each other. Uh, like I said yesterday, I went to EK. I, uh, my family really wanted to spend time with me. I want to spend time with them. Pero I haven't seen this person in three years, and I really care about them. So I took the time out of my day to be with them. I'm sure my family will understand that, right, huh? Okay. Uh, it goes without saying that no relationship can develop without making time for each other. Making time for each other allows you to get to know more about each other. It means new things about each other. Keep the relationship fresh by going out on dates, like my parents. Even though they've been together for 20 years, they still go out on dates. Alam mo, mga, we're waiting for them to come home kasi gutom kami. Well, sila babalik, oh my gosh. Akala namin, akala namin na chopic sila. Sinabi nila, oh wait, nag-date kami kasi yun. Very young. They, they still love each other. They said they keep the relationship fresh. Yeah, whenever my dad wants to try a new recipe, my mom's like, oh yeah, well, you have to take me with you. Oh yeah, my dad waits until. So they can try it together, you know? It's much better to try something new. What's the one you love? You have to share experiences together. Most of your friendships have developed through shared experiences. Of course, now, I, I met my friends through my experiences with them. I couldn't have met them if I, if I never did anything with them. I can't just go up to someone, oh, you think you can do it, you we haven't even talked yet. You, all, you have to experience or, uh, experience something together before you can get to a friendship. The more experiences shared, the closer you will get to your special person. It is better if you try something new with your spouse to make both, uh, both of your times a memorable experience. 
That's why my mom and dad, they always, uh, they always go on dates to get closer to each other, to get to know each other. Even though it's been 20 years, they still find out something new about each other. Isn't that crazy? I don't, I can't. I can't even, oh my gosh. Very good. Uh, even though, even though they've been married for 20, uh, even though they've been together for 20 years, they still, they still always come up with something we can talk about. Even in the dinner table, at sitting with them, it's breakfast. I am. Now my mom still talks like, like she's 15. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my mom still talks like she just met my dad. That's that's what a relationship is supposed to be. Be supportive, of course. My parents, come on, they support each other through everything. I remember there was just one time my dad, uh, he started to have a difficult time at work. So yeah, uh, kids, we didn't know what to do. Shepherd, no, but uh, we don't know what's the situation. There, luckily, I think he was able to get through. So my mom was there with him the whole time. Even my mom, my mom was going through a difficult time, and my dad was there for her as well. It's, it's a, you have to, you have to be supportive for each other. Humans were made desire support and affirmation. Uh, for those who don't know what affirmation is, it's like approval, eh? yeah. a fancy word, yeah. Eh? Uh, and we are usually like that. Something we worked on, hard on, doesn't get as much approval as expected. Even as a student, it hurts sometimes when I make up. I really, <coughs> it took me four hours to make a PowerPoint piece, and I presented it in front of the class. Pero I didn't get the grade I expected. I said my teammates weren't. Uh, my teammates weren't. Uh, as helpful as I thought they'd be. And you know, I was let down. But luckily, my friends were there to support me. They were there, they were there to tell me, it's okay, your PowerPoint was amazing. And it's really nice to know that someone out there still appreciates your work, even though the person, even though uh, no one else does. And that's what a spouse is supposed to be. Next, you have to look out for each other. God created us as fragile beings. Uh, fragile is like easy to break. <laughs> Uh, fragile beings, emotionally and physically. So it is important that we are there for our spouse in times of grief. Imagine uh, you're crying. Talk to your spouse and like, hey, make me lunch. My dad doesn't do that. When my mom cries, my dad's there for her. He doesn't go to her like, oi, iyaka, make me lunch more. I continue. Check with them, you have to support. You have to support each other. Look out for each other. Check to see if, if you guys are okay. Uh, what friendship will do for your marriage? Just as my dad said, uh, there are multiple uh, good outcomes to, uh, to a good marriage. One of them is, friendship will allow you to develop a loving relationship with your spouse. It will be the basic foundation of where your marriage rests. Marriage is like a house, and the house can't stand unless we have good foundation. But if my parents never became friends, then they would be living on the roof when there's not even a first floor. That's not how a house works. You have to start with the foundation and build up to the top. That's what my parents have been doing. Friendship will allow you to develop a loving family. My parents love each other so much, so much. It's, it's actually it's weird. And like I said, like, uh, man, I'm just walking by, I'm, I'm walking by. I'm just kissing, oh my gosh, I'm out. Right? Arm six o'clock in the morning, getting ready for school. children would be more difficult if you wouldn't be doing it with a friend. Imagine, uh, just like how we would do our work, it's much easier doing something with a friend than with a stranger. Uh, especially, even though I'm in high school, I don't have a, I don't have a spouse yet. Pero, I have a crush on my Very yeah, things are much more fun when I'm doing it with her. So, just like, you should, uh, that's why you should, you should work with your spouse. If you're planning to raise a family, work with them. Because they're, they're the only partner that you're going to get. Except when you cheat and the other is, okay? Very young. Your spouse is the only partner that, that God is willing to give you. So you have to work with them. Friendship will keep you uh, bonded until the end of time. If you're planning to have kids, you're going to realize that one day they're going to grow up. Especially uh, my mom, she told me one day, she was like, oh, baby, you're thinking of it, right? I was like, yeah. She's like, baby, I remember when you were still five, you were still crawling around the house. She's starting to realize, nah, we're growing up, nah. And sooner or later, I'm going to move out of the house. And I don't think they're ready for that, especially my mom. Yeah. Okay, mom. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, 
what's the true test is once the children leave the house, will you still be able to go back to, to, to the way things were? It's like going back to stage one. Once, once the three of us leave my parents' house, it's just the two of them again, just like the start. So you can't just be married because you want kids. I say, once the kids are gone, what are you going to do? Get a divorce? Oh, I want more children, the book. So you have, you have to be together because you're together, the book. Not together because one of you wants kids. Next. Uh, conclusion. Say it. So, throughout, uh, to learning everything, we can conclude that friendship is not only the basic aspect of marriage, it is the biggest, but it is the biggest aspect as well. Uh, God gave us our spouse not only because we love for someone, but because we also need a friend, like a partner. Uh, true friendship can last the test of time. The question is, are you willing to take the test of time? Thank you. I want to quick look for us. <laughs> family affair talaga. Ayaw kong gawin, pero sinabi ng best friend ko. <laughs> um, what I want to say, um, sabi nila, na I think yung ibang mga ano sabi nila, I married my best friend. Ako po, hindi ko masasabi na I married my best friend. Kasi, meron ako ibang best friend noon. Pero yes, uh, tama yung anak ko, over the past 21 years, na-develop po yung friendship namin. And now, I can really say na, Chris, or my husband, is my best friend. Kasi, uh, hindi lang po yun dahil sabi nila din, uh, uh, you're blessed with, ano, you're blessed with a spouse na ganito. Of course, lahat po tayo, lalo na kung pinanalangin natin, ano po, pero paano po sa, limbawa, hindi pinagdasalo, o hindi talaga siya yung para sa'yo, or ano, uh, tingin ko, um, yun nga po, nagsisimula siya dun sa commitment, commitment mo na kung nandun na siya, committed na tayo kay God. Kasi sabi nga nung anak ko, uh, ano natin siya, promise natin siya, hindi lang sa, sa ating dalawa, kundi, kundi sa Diyos. So therefore, makipagkaibigan na tayo. Hindi po ba? Para yung commitment na yun ay mag-last. Kasi, katulad lahat naman po tayo, may mga kaibigan, at masarap po talaga yung may Ah, na ang kaasawa ka mo ay mismo kaibigan mo. Yung nakikita ko kayo sa mata. Yung eye to eye, nagkakaintindihan kayo. Kasi, ang mangyayari po, parang, parang sabi nga, how do you commit? O yun nga po, you start with friendship. Tapos yung friendship na yun kasi, uh, pag talagang nag-grow na siya, yung love po, ano eh, um, it grows. So, just like in a song na, na paborito kong pantahin sa husband ko, I love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. <laughs> so, hindi po sabihin, lalo po siyang nag-grow everyday at hindi ko po siya pinipilit. Talagang parang po sa akin, pagwa po siya ng pagwa po everyday.
uh, language of gifts. Sino ba may hindi na nandito na regaluhan? Kung kung biyahe ka sa lupong, yun, know, language of gifts, no? Uh, receiving gifts siya, no? There's a language of affirmation. Some of people uh, gusto laging merong feeling of uh, affirmation. You know? like, another language is the language of time. How in fact, uh, people demand, you know, sa relationship, yung a lot of time, gusto nila, na-appreciate nila pag binibigyan ng time. Mayroon language of touch, no, yung touch. Mga lalaki, marami yan, no? physical touch, longing ng, uh, to be touch. And the uh, last one is um, service, uh, the language of service, na yung pagsaserve, na-appreciate. Yung, uh, service, for example, pagod ang, 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 Mister mo, misis mo, tapos mamasahin mo sa paa. Service yun. Kailangan, uh, imabas lang para bumili ng bigas, no? Uh, tatayo ka kahit na ato ka para bumili ng bigas. Service yun. Kailangan mag-drive somewhere, ang asawa mo, kasasamahan mo, mag-shopping, sunod ka lang na sunod. Service yun, no? Kung gusto niya bumili ng sapatos, susukatin lahat ng sumakit lang na sapatos na pupuntahan, no? Sisipatin nila ng bag, pero sa dulo walang dibuhin, service yun. You, know, you have to also appreciate that and be a part of that language of love. Kung nandun ka sa tabi niya, no? That's a language of love. Na-appreciate nila yan. Yeah. So, yun yung mga tips na namin, you also need to go through, uh, you, know, you also have to understand the difference between men and women. Yung, uh, Men are from Mars and women are from Venus. You know, may tindihan nyo. If you read over that, may tindihan nyo. Ang laki talaga ng difference, parang meron tayong uh, programming. Ang lalaki at babae may programming, kaya ganyan tayo magbihi. If you understand that, mas maintindihan mo. Bakit hindi naman mag-ihi? Ganyan mag-iasawa ko, ba't ganyan? Nandun pag-uwi, doon agad ang TV, no? Si, ano na lang, si Mrs. Pag-uwi, gusto mo magpahin niya, dal-dal ng dal-dal, dal-dal ng dal-dal, no? Dapat maintindihan niya atin niya, no? Meron! Meron vision niya, yung ano, yung, yung parang nakaprogram sa jeans natin bilang lalaki babae. So marami pa po, very rich ang, itong pipap na po, to, very rich ang, ang discussion dito. And I think, matidiscuss nyo, umulan talaga ang oras, no? Pero napakaganda rin na formulation ng itong programa to. Hindi naman nakain ang malaking oras, kung spread ka lang time. Pero may take home ka, marami ka matututan at ito ko rin. At ang importante, ito po lang ko sinasabi, Pag-uusap tayo maghapon dito, marami tayong malalaman. Ang question po, anong resulta? So, ano ang magiging resulta ng mga punta dito? Kasi masarap ba kini? Pero yung na-apply nyo, yung napapakinggan nyo sa araw-araw natin yung pamumuhay, yun po mas importante. So, with that po, uh, we wish our family na dito po ngayon. Sana, uh, lahat po tayo, uh, mag-bless ma 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 ni Lord uh, through prayers rin to our own, also our own efforts and thank you rin sa mga efforts ng mga service people that was willing to spend time no? their language of love no? for us to also experience yung mga nakikita natin na akala lang natin eh tuloy ba yan? Nangyari po? Nangyari po. Pero sa atin din galing lahat yun. So maraming salamat po sa so, our family. Thank you. Thank you very much.